somebody that's listening to this one, you might want to, if, if, if you don't like my explicit content, yeah, you might want to turn this one off. This is more on a serious note, though, because I really believe this. The, the, the energy that these teachers are pushing back against parents, which, which is not even funny. It's not even laughable anymore. It's really asinine because it's almost like they're saying, fuck what you think. We're going to do what we want to do. What's going to happen? And maybe because I come from a street culture, that I'm like, no bullshit. One of these teachers are going to be killed. A parent is going to fucking blow somebody's face off because enough is enough. You don't fuck with people's kids. And this is, and, and the reason I'm saying this is because there's an article on newsundone.com. Everybody knows what our company is that, that pays close attention to me and Paris Procopus and, and others, which we appreciate. Wauwatosa teacher calls those against radical sex, bigoted, queerphobic, and transphobic in public schools and, and, and public letter. She's call, the teacher is calling parents that disagree with this shit radical. Peep the language they try to use to get people on their side, but they're not understanding. All they're doing is making motherfuckers mad. It's just like in the street game. When you got two rap camps that are going against each other. Eventually, somebody going to catch somebody at the club. Somebody going to see somebody out. And they're going to pop a op. That's how that shit is going to go. Because after, if somebody is trying to, in my mind, abuse my six-year-old son. Telling him about getting his dick sucked by a fucking boy. And he's just a normal, well-adjusted kid. I'm going to fucking kill whoever's trying to do it because that's child molestation. I'm going to take my nine millimeter, put a bullet in the chamber and kill any motherfucker trying to sexually abuse or sexually molest my son or daughter. It's that simple. But this is what Paris article says. October 1st. And it's autumn in Wisconsin. The weather is getting cooler and leaves are starting to change color. It's almost like how the body develops, how they talk in like biology class. Paris is a fool. I see where you're going with this too. Great writer, my my man PB on some other shit. And while with Tulsa schools, the radical left-wing indoctrination of Tulsa students seems to become more out in the open with each changing season. Exactly. I've written... Paris meaning Paris has written about the the changes over the the course of years now and and how the Wauwatosa school system has become a cesspool of radical extremism and indoctrination and grooming with the change in season Tosa schools are now busy um, beginning the implementation process of the ultra left wing sexual grooming and indoctrination curriculum disguised as a softer named human growth and development HGDC HGDC um, was deceptively forced on the families of Wauwatosa by the ultra radical left wing school board. The school board ringleader and Paris is at this motherfucker's head. President Dr. Eric Jessup Anger, Ph.D., led his merry band of ultra leftist radicals to approve in the grooming of the Tulsa kids after manipulating data of a survey to make the results suit their agenda to take you back. They got caught up apparently trying to manipulate the data to make it seem like parents wanted this. And apparently, overwhelmingly, the parents did not want it. So, and this is what Paris has not read. And keep in mind, I'm just reading this for the first time. After all, they basically ignored the attempt by the lone no on the board, Michael Meyer. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Halloween whatever when he attempted to get the radicals on the board to rescind the curriculum um based on the data manipulation it was moved at a meeting but received a second no thus preventing any discussion hmm very interesting it was 53 teachers who signed on in support of D demon demonizing parents and Wauwatosa taxpayers who dared 
to want a say in their kids' education or dare to be against calling young <laughs> young kindergarten girls people with a vulva. What? This is to say nothing about the fact Tosa will now be coming, will now be teaching about anal sex, vibrators, masturbation, sex changes, etc. at grade school level. I mean, what I mean, what else? What else is there? If, if, if they're voting on it and they're getting shit, quote unquote, their way and you pulling out kids, what happens when that shit goes to the private school? They clearly read the rules for radical by radicals by Saul Alinsky. They are not a joke. They are doing exactly what their agenda is, and that's indoctrination. It's to, to me, to me, it's a situation where you you clearly have an objective on one side. So when you put people's back completely against the wall and 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 they and they don't feel that there's nothing else they can do people are going to eventually push back and when they do push back and and some of these people start getting fucking killed I mean, is anybody going to be surprised? You can't fuck with people's kids and expect it to be sweet. I'm not encouraging this, obviously. With that said, I'm telling you what's about to happen. This is fucked up because people are people can't afford private school and they know that. Not everybody. So the people that cannot afford private school, they're not going to allow you to fuck with their kids on any level. You might want to reconsider what you're doing because now you're trying to push an agenda down the throats of just normal people. That in some cases that the only thing they want to do is go to work and come home. And you putting them in a position where they got to defend their family. And in a lot of cases... That might be with a firearm, because by the way, a lot of the people who you targeted are people that do believe in the Second Amendment. Oh, yeah, that's why you want to ban it.